Banking fears once again hitting the market. First Republic spooking the markets after their earnings report. UPS dragging down the market, but all eyes on after hours, Microsoft, Alphabet, and then Meta and Amazon later in the week. Energy stocks heavily in the red today, pressured by lower oil prices, concerns about the impact of potential slowing growth on demand. Later in the week, we get GDP report on Thursday, PCE on Friday, and right now, CME FedWatch tool pricing in a 71% probability of a 25 basis point hike next week. Volume finally picking up in the options market, heading into these big earnings reports. Uh, recent put buying, and today there was large volume in tomorrow's expiration, 3,900 strike puts. VolQ finally back above 20 with an 11% rise today. ES option implied volatility, 19% going out to Friday. That had been about 14% last week. In crypto, we've seen a tight range in Bitcoin today after you know 10% sell-off or so since last week. In the first quarter from the CME, though, what we are seeing, impressive, impressive increase in volatility and in volume as well. So we saw the crypto market spike in Q1, and that certainly flowed into CME products with futures trading averaging about 12,000 during the first quarter, open interest 14,000, and then in the micro Bitcoin future, up about the same as well.